Right, I'm going to have a look at a few uh, trig questions, like how to solve uh, trig equations uh, using the cast diagram, that sort of thing. So here's the first one. Solve the equation 2 cos x plus sine x equals 2 for x in the interval 0 and pi. Okay, so make sure you check the interval in radians, and it's between 0 and pi, not the usual 0 and 2 pi. Um, so that was part B of the question. That's what we're going to work up to. Part A, actually, we're just going to have to do some work to get this. So 2 cos squared x plus sine x in terms of sine x only, and then we'll be able to solve the second part. Okay, so the first part, we just need to remember that uh, cos squared x can be written as 1 take away sine squared x, because sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1. So I just replace cos squared x with this, and then I just expand out the bracket and I'm going to get 2 take away 2 sine squared x plus sine x. So there we go, I've, I've replaced 2 cos squared x plus sine x. It's the same as this. Okay, the reason for doing that is then obviously it then allows me to solve part b. So I now know that this left hand side is equal to 2 take away 2 sine squared x plus sine x. So I can write that as my first line for part b. I then hopefully should notice that if I take away 2 from both sides, I'm going to get some sort of quadratic. So here we go, minus 2 sine squared x plus sine x equals to 0. Whenever you get a quadratic, um, the easiest thing with trig equations is to uh, sometimes to make a use substitution. Uh, in this particular case, we can just see that we can divide both sides by sine x. So therefore, we have sine x on the outside, minus 2 sine x plus 1 on the inside bracket. So here we go. So we then need to solve this. Well, what makes this equal to zero? Well, either sine x is zero or this bracket here is zero. So I, again, I just write down that step. And then I just need to solve this. So well, sine x equals zero or sine x equals a half. OK, let's solve the first one. Sine x equals zero. It's probably best to do a little sketch for, for this one. For sine x equals 0, well, I'm going to have the point at this point here. That is x is 0. I'm also going to have the point here where x is pi. So those are my two solutions. Remember, I'm allowed to include the endpoints. So x is 0 and x is pi. The other one, I've got sine x equals a half. Well, sine x is a half. Remember, you should have learnt uh, a little table. You should know these certain values. Sine x is a half. That is going to give me an angle of pi over 6. If I do a little sketch on the cast diagram, this is pi over 6 here. And then the other value is going to be uh, pi take away pi over 6. So therefore, that's going to be 5 pi over 6. Okay, so those are my two possible answers for this question. Okay, so x is pi over 6, and x is 5 pi over 6. Um, so that's the first question. Um, second question. Um, same, same sort of thing as before. Solve the equation 3 cos x plus 5 sine x. And this time we're in the interval between 0 and 360. Uh, it's a little bit harder to see what to do on this one. But the general idea is we've got a cos x, we've got a sine x. Uh, if we rearrange it to get this form here, so I'd basically just divide both sides by cos x and then divide both sides by 5. I'm going to get 3 over 5 equals sine x over cos x. Now, sine x over cos x is equal to tan x. Therefore, I get 3 over 5 is equal to tan x. And then, actually, this is a calculator question. So I just type that into my calculator. I'm going to get one of my solutions here. x is like 31 to the nearest degree. So remember, you need to be in degrees for your question. To find the other solution, again, use my CAS diagram. Uh, tan is positive in the first quadrant and also the third quadrant. I'm going to add 180 degrees. So if this is one solution, my other solution is going to be 211. Okay, let's just have a look at another question. Here we go. Very similar to the last one. We've got 2 sine squared x equals 1 plus cos x. Again, we're going to write it in the form just of cos squared and cos. Do the same as before. So therefore, sine squared x, I can replace using 1 take away cos squared x, using the formula cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. Expand it out. 
So 2 take away 2 cos squared x equals 1 plus cos x. And then rearrange it to get a quadratic. 0 equals 2 cos squared x plus cos x take away 1. And then I can actually factorize this. Uh, okay, this one I'll use a, a u substitution. I'll say u equals cos x. So I've therefore got 2u squared plus u take away 1. That's going to help me factorize it. So therefore I've got a 2u minus 1 and a u plus 1 equal to 0. And then I can just remember that, well, actually u was just cos x. So I can say 2 cos x minus 1 and then cos x plus 1. Okay, so I've done part A and I've done part B. Part C, solve it. Well, that's the same as the last question. I'll just write out the situation. I can either have this first bracket, 2 cos x minus 1 equals 0, or the second bracket, cos x plus 1 equals 0. That's going to give me these two solutions. Cos x is a half, or cos x is negative 1. Okay, so cos x is a half. Again, you need to remember that one of the solutions is x is 60. Again, use my cast diagram. First quadrant, 60. Fourth quadrant, it's going to be x is 300. And the other way to do it uh, for this other one, so cos x is equal to negative 1. Draw my little sketch. Uh, cos x is equal to negative 1 when x is 180 degrees. Okay, and there we go. So those are my solutions for this question. Okay, the final one, uh, we'll look at this one. Uh, so 4 minus cos squared uh, sorry, cos 2x plus 5 sine x is equal to this thing on the right-hand side. For this one, I'm going to need to use one of the w useful. Well, I want everything to do with sine, so I'm going to cho choose the first one. So cos 2 theta equals 1, take away 2 sine squared theta. So there we go. So I've just replaced cos 2 theta with 1, take away 2 sine squared theta. And then I just need to expand out the bracket. And then I simplify yeah, and I should get what's on the right-hand side. There we go, 2 sine squared theta plus 5 sine theta plus 3. Okay, and then part B, hence solve the equation. Well, I now know that this left-hand side is equal to what I've got here, 2 sine squared theta plus 5 sine theta plus 3. So exactly the same as before. I'm going to make a u substitution, u equals sine theta, and then rewrite this as 2u squared plus 5u plus 3. Factorize that, I'm going to get 2u plus 3 and a u plus 1. And as before, I need to see what values make those brackets equal to 0. Well, the first one, 2u plus 3 is 0, so u is minus 3 over 2. The second one, u plus 1 is 0, so u is minus 1. I then should notice that the first one is going to have no solutions. Sine theta cannot be bigger than 1 and negative 1, so there's no solution for the first one. For the second one, uh, u is minus 1, so sine theta is minus 1. Again, do a little sketch. When is sine theta equal to negative 1? It's for 3 pi over 2. So there we go, a few quick questions all to do with trig equations.